Today I'm going to show you some speed painting methods for orc skin. Or... If... Oryx. Oryx for regular people. Oryx for Games Workshop. It's not that big of a difference. So welcome to another episode of Blastercated Painting. Like I said, we're going to do some quick orc skin. We're going to do two types. Uh kind of a pale yellowish and then like the more classic green so let's do that now and regular viewers of the channel will probably notice that i have a new camera um quality is gonna hopefully go up a little bit more here and things will look nicer because there's nothing better than looking at my face in a higher definition here we go first thing we're gonna do is give these guys a spray of black and then a zenithal white from above and then we're gonna take some magos purple so now you might be thinking, that's crazy, I thought you were painting orc skin, why are you starting with purple? Uh, because it will look good in the end, and it gives it some undershading. Well, I don't have to explain myself to you. Nothing like being rude to the audience right off the bat. Anyway, this is going all over the skin. So, uh, yep, face, hands, legs, anywhere with the skin, purple it up. Then we're going to take some pale flesh once that Magos purple is dried, and we are going to do a dry brush of all the upper areas so we can look at our zenithal see where it's brightest and we're going to dry brush those areas then we're going to grab some plague bearer flesh and this is going to go all over the dry brush we just did so right back over the skin and this is going to give us our pale greenish yellow kind of tint but that purple in the recesses is also going to give it a little bit more color so it looks a little bit uh, more lifelike Obviously, because you have colors under your skin. So, we're kind of doing the same thing. And while we're here, we're going to take some burnished red. And we're going to put this all over the uh, cloth parts of the miniature. So, instead of just showing you the skin, I'll just show you how I painted uh, this whole uh, group of guys as well. Now, we're going to take some Naz Drag Yellow here. And this is going to go all over the ropes and straps. So because we use a zenithal, we do want to kind of be neat. Try not to get uh, any of our colors on other colors. The Nasdrag yellow can go over the burnished red fine and it won't really show up. But anything that's still white, we kind of want to stay away from. And that's our yellowish, greenish orc skin done. It works really well for the crew boys. But now if we want to do that green, we're going to go to Gilly Dew. And we're going to use Gilly Dew right over the skin. So we want to make this thin we don't want it to go into the recesses too much but we're going to basically spread it out over all the skin and use it more like a glaze we're just tinting the skin that's already there and we're going to take some mummified grind and this is going to go all over the horn and any of the wood uh, like the handles of their weapons or their spears and stuff like that Okay, just a note here. I'm not a fan of any instrument you have to climb into. Look at that horn. Like, it's it's part of your outfit now. Like, you have to... Oh, hold on. I just got to climb into my horn. Seems outrageous. Like a tuba. You got to get in it, kind of. I don't think instruments should be outfits. Eh, that's all. Now we're going to take some Moon Lake Coral here. And this is going to go on the insides of their mouths. Now right, we're going to hop over to some bright red. And this is going to go all over the uh, scare shields that they have. Um, these are really cool. I know that they're based on an old, I think, John Blanche art. But they're really awesome. Next, we're going to take some pallid bone. And that's going to go on any of the bone parts that they have. And by bone parts, I mean skulls. Because... It couldn't be a Games Workshop miniature without a skull somewhere. It's 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 out of hand. It's out of hand, Games Workshop. Just quit it with all the skulls. And we're going to take some polished silver next. And this is going over any of the metal bits that they have. So swords, we're also going to use it on the spikes on the scare shield. And also the eyes and the teeth on the scare shield as well. Also, these little uh, 
little tiny things here. I don't know what they're called. And we're going to take some dark rust wash here. This is going over all the metal we just did, except for the teeth and the eyes on the scare shield. Now we're going to take some chain mail silver once that wash is dried, and we're just going to dry brush back over onto our metal. This is just going to bring back a little bit more shine to it. So they're not rusty weapons, they're rusting weapons, I guess. They're in the middle of rust. Now we're going to take some Imperial Fist here. This is going all over the eyes and teeth of the Scare Shield. Now we're going to take some Pale Sand, and this is just going to be used to bring out their teeth. Next, we're going to take some Thunderhawk Blue. Now, if you guys follow the channel at all, you know I don't use a lot of Games Workshop opaque paints. I don't really like them that much i think they're too thick um they're just not for me i know a lot of people swear by them i just don't like them that much having said that the thunderhawk blue is one of my favorite colors from any paint range and i think it's just great um it also works perfectly for their lips so we're just going through and putting this all over the lips of the oryx 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 it doesn't matter and also the lips on the scare shield And we're going to take some filthy brown here, and this is just going to go on the stitching on their claw. Then we're going to take some deep red, and we are going to dot in their eyes here. Once that is done, I'm going to paint the bases, and these guys are done. And here they are all finished up, and honestly, I'm really happy with how they turned out. The skin tones are really uh, neat and kind of a little different. That purple underbase with the dry brushing really kind of shows through and gives it more of a lifelike, weird sort of look with that underpainting. And as orcs go, these are kind of my favorite orcs because I'm not a big fan of the big, chunky, muscular orcs. I like these skinnier, kind of cunning, weirdo orcs. I know that a lot of people gave them flack because they look a little bit maybe too much like lord of the rings but that's kind of what i prefer i don't like the big uh, muscular ones i really like these guys and i'm really happy with how they turned out so what do you guys think are those easy ways to paint uh orc skin i mean it's really simple with uh speed paints or contrast paints to just really get some nice interesting tones um, let me know what you think in the comments below. I will say out of uh, Games Workshop stuff, the Orc Cruel Boys are some of my favorite models they've ever done. The uh, guy riding the Vulture is amazing. Um, the, the guy riding the Lizard thing is amazing. Uh, really super cool miniatures. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. All the YouTube stuff. And you guys have a great day. Okay, just a note. Uh, I don't like instruments that you have to climb into. Climb? I don't like instruments that you have to Kevin Klein into. It's a mistake. I also love that uh, the orcs in Games Workshop all talk like, like weirdo british guys like I don't, I don't know maybe that's offensive to weirdo british guys but they all talk like like and they all like boys and lads oh lads like they're all kind of weirdos like that. like they're going down to the pubs i don't know anything about britain <laughs> oh that's my ham like that sort of thing <laughs>